run had just passed me, a lady runner. The wind behind me now, we're going to be going further over this way, hoping to get into the nature reserve where there are ponies and for the first time ever, last time I came, a year ago-ish, there were, there were cow a big, big herd of cows. Fortunately, they all were over this side of the reserve and I was able to creep over the other side. But they have got a wide area and they could be tucked in anywhere. Look at this lovely land. Isn't that gorgeous, isn't it? I just love it. I just love it so much. This walk. As soon as I found this walk years ago, not years and years ago, but in the last 10 years, when I started, when I retired and I started to explore. When I was working, when I had a family, a young family, I never had time for any of this. I used to run marathons, but not, that wasn't my hobby. But I was tied up with a, I was married then, and just, there was always someone around to look after the kids when I nipped out for me run. And I always took the kids on a lot of runs, and I took them swimming as well. Um, I tried to include them in my hobby. And, um, I mean, basically, when I found this place, I just fell in love with it. And I think it was the springtime, and there was the grass was doing something. There was something about the grass, it was higher. There were flowers, the, the stone walls, and this huge expanse that you can see as you walk along. And it, and it takes you back, it's like kind of going in a time machine. I, I, can, I know you, you wouldn't have had this in the, these sort of stones. 200 years, 300 years ago, you might have had something, but who knows, it might have done. But I got feeling this was a lot more ditchy when I first found it. It was big uh, trenches of muddy water and that. Anyway, right over there, there are ruins, and it's all to do with mining again. All this area around here is mining. Cheddar, pretty. Robero. Of course, years ago I wouldn't have always known if that, that was Robero Warren until I started exploring that as well. Now is that cows I can see? Yeah, that's cows, but I'm not sure if they're going to be over my side. That's further over by that farm, I think. Yeah, they might not be. Hold on. That's right, I'm just looking out for cows because I might have to do a different route. Is that a cow or a horse? That looks more like a horse. Yeah, I think that's a horse. That's a horse. At the moment, I can't see any cows. I can see the ponies, yes, under the tree. Under that tree there. They usually leave you alone anyway. Horses. That's the good thing about having the lens like this. I can scan. I did spot some cows somewhere. Especially reminding me that boy, man, having to climb that wall a minute ago. And there was a bull facing him. I mean, come on. He was feet away from a massive bull. The bull, they might get used to people walking through, you see. But there could always be that day. It could be that day and it could be the end of your day. <sighs> One hint of a cow and I'll have to risk going back down the other way. 
I'd like to go back down that way, really. I would like to go back that way, because this is going to be a quicker way back. But it's too early, because I know for sure that down that way the cows will still be out, especially if I can still see cows dart darted about. <sighs> lovely views there, folks, isn't it? Lovely, lovely views. My beautiful, beautiful Somerset, this is. The rowberry trees in the distance, everywhere I go. There's a big bird there, look, flying high and soaring. That could be a Perkin falcon, you know. It looks very big. Could be a Perkin falcon. He's going to come back into view in a minute. Oh, he's just... He's slightly out of view behind this bush. There he goes again. I'm not saying it's a perkin falcon, and it could be a sparrow hawk. He's beautiful, isn't he? He's flipping beautiful. I'll try and get a picture of him when I get further up. So here we've got this lovely lane that takes you back in time. I was just saying, just imagine, this is one of those droves that's been here a long time. No sign of cow pack, because I was wondering if they brought the cows out of one of these fields. But look at that, look at it. It's absolutely magnificent, isn't it? Absolutely magnificent. It's only about two o'clock. I don't have to rush at all. I just need to keep an eye out for cows. I really, 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 really do. This is what uses a battery when I have to do zooming, you know. That looks like a horse. They might not put the cows in there all the time. They could be the other side of that wall, see? And the ponies are fine, usually. Or well, they could be under those trees. Yeah, going back in time. Yeah, you can see that they've... I suppose even then they would probably fill in the holes, you know? They wouldn't want to bring their carts along thick trenches. Little birds. Lots of little birds. I don't know what... Are they sparrows? We're very busy. Very busy. Yeah, this is a lovely walk. And I know I've done it before. But there will be people joining who've not seen the earlier ones. And this is 2021. And... I need a new camera. This one is starting to lose its sharpness, what I call it. It's starting to lose its sharpness. And I'm sure it used to home in even deeper at one time. Um, but it's been well used and well appreciated, this um, little camera. Yeah, well used, well appreciated. I had the other one, unfortunately with the other one. Ooh! Cow pack. I'm thinking they've taken them out of here, you know. Look! Fresh cow pack. Maybe they've had a tractor. Mm, we might bump into them. Yeah, they could end up up here. It's sort of allowed for 
if I can't do this way, I'll go back and I'll just have to risk going down the lower track. I did want to do the lower one, really. I haven't done it for ages because of cows. Oh. Yeah, this is a drove. It's well used. Fresh cow pack. I'm just wondering if that's the same herd that went... See, if I'd been any earlier, not only would I have met them there, I could have met them coming along here. If they've been taken in to be milked up the farm up here, I could meet them in a minute. <sighs> yeah, cow, cow hoofs. All part of being in the countryside, folks. Yeah, so you, these can be found. I don't know what they would co probably come under Draycott Slights Walk. Or it could even be when I've done Wells to Cheddar Walk and I've included this part within that walk. So it might not always be just Draycott Slights where I've included this, but most of the time, if it's under Draycott Slights, either the West Mendip Way, which is that going down the other side, or it's this way. Just a couple of bit undulating <laughs> sections to do. I mean, they might be bringing cows in yet. I mean, we've got a cut. I don't know why I don't leave it to the end of the week. Because basically, we've got a couple days of nice weather. Now, I'll tell you one thing I should have brought, I should have brought really, because they did say there could be the odd shower. I should have brought the umbrella. Yeah. I plan to go out again tomorrow. Anyway, this is a nice scene here, and I'm going to start taking pictures of the ponies in a minute. So, this is my beautiful Somerset, everyone, and there's a beautiful scene there I want to take a picture of. Beautiful, over and out. Right, folks, I have noticed a herd sitting down over in the corner there. Um, now, they're similar over. Last time I went, followed the fence and went round, ready to get over the fence at any time. It depends if the herd is split. And there is another field opening up further, so more of them could be over over there in another field. So if I'm lucky, I can skirt round. <sighs> yeah, I have been quite lucky today, really, to tell the truth, to be quite honest. <sighs> I haven't really decided which way to go yet, either. 